station that covers Kern County, 23 ABC News at 5. So they arrested him. So for them now to come back and say, we didn't know? Well, first of all, that's no excuse. You don't get a free pass for that. A local vice principal says his name has been tarnished after being arrested for taking a gun to school. Now he wants to keep his job and he wants his reputation back. Thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Todd Carley, the vice principal of Tevis Junior High, who was arrested for having a gun on campus, is preparing now to file a claim against the police department. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells us tonight why Kent Williams is saying that law enforcement violated his civil rights. Late last month, Kent Williams was arrested on campus after another employee told district officials he had a gun in his backpack. I was put into handcuffs and put in the back seat of a car and transported down to the BPD or the jail, I guess it's called. Officers took Williams into custody because at the time they believed he violated the gun-free school zone law. However, the BPD released Williams several hours later after they reviewed the law in light of his concealed weapons permit. The mistake of law cannot justify an arrest. That's a false arrest. Attorney Daniel Rodriguez took the case because he believes Williams was illegally arrested. Why was it illegal? They didn't have probable cause. Rodriguez says the officers on scene were hesitant to arrest Williams on campus because of his concealed weapons permit and they called their supervisor. They tell him, hey, he has a concealed weapons permit and everything seems in order. And the higher up said, arrest him anyway. The Panama Buena Vista Union School District says Williams remains on paid administrative leave pending their investigation into Williams violating the school policy. But their website already has someone else named in his position. While Williams has a growing support on social media after the incident and says he just wants his job back. I'd like to establish my name and get my credibility back as well as um, teach or be an administrator to where I can take care of kids like I've been doing for 27 years. At this point, Rodriguez says he will not go after the school district if they reinstate him. Rodriguez says his main focus is on the BPD for violating Williams' civil rights, including false arrest and false imprisonment. Is it just sloppiness? Was it just indifference? Laziness? I don't know. What we do know is that you cannot have probable cause if you have a mistake. Mark Christian, 23 ABC.